lovelies so I'm going out for a walk with my husband I'm just trying to do better um, with how I eat how much exercise I do because I've not been feeling great like in regards to you know my weight and how unhealthy I feel but I'm not gonna bore you with that and I was thinking what perfume shall I wear on my walk because I'm probably gonna sweat and this one just came to mind I feel like you cannot go wrong with light blue intense by Dolce and Gabbana it's such a fresh citrusy really cool smelling perfume i really love this one and it's very long lasting so it definitely has to be this one and i was also thinking of uh, my next fragrance video i'm thinking to do a summer perfume if you guys want to see that let me know if there's something else you guys want to see also let me know my perfume stash is literally all over the place guys i've not i need to reorganize again as always this is the most organized part this one is really organized because all the bottles here are quite tall and this one actually because it's all black i'm loving commodity gold at the moment um i did a video about it not too long ago so if you have a few moments you can have a look at that video uh, let me know what you think if you've tried it before and this part is just a mess it's a whole mess this is okay this part is not too bad actually these are all my penhaligans my baby or do you guys want to see um penhaligans fragrances for summer like a summer perfumes but they're all gonna be penhaligans let me know if you want to see that kind of video um or whatever else you want to see let me know i'll be happy to do it so I'm gonna go for my walk now guys I'll see you shortly oh it's sunny here in London today which is fantastic I'm going for a walk with my husband because I've put on so much weight guys and it's starting to bother me like some days it doesn't bother me but these days it's actually been bothering me as you guys know lockdown got us all putting on weight and if you're out there and you haven't put on weight but well, good for you <laughs> because I have and it's making me feel uncomfortable my clothing are not fitting right I'm just not feeling like my best so I want to start doing something about it I've been seeing on Instagram and on social media like a lot of people are doing this 10,000 um, steps a day walk so I want to try it for a month and see if it would work for me and I'm obviously gonna try and eat well my problem is I have a sweet tooth and I always want to eat biscuits and not so much chocolates actually maybe just like biscuits cakes and <sighs> croissants and um, those kind of stuff and I know those are no good for me so I'm gonna just try and eat well going forward and don't eat too late that's another issue as well because i always wait for my husband before i have dinner sometimes he's back home really really late but um i think i'm going to um, try and do this properly this time and i feel like if i tell you guys i'm gonna be held accountable that's why i'm saying it to you guys so we'll see how it goes um but you know means like if you're watching this and you don't be triggered by this is like my personal journey i want to be healthy i want to feel better and i want to look better as well so yeah off on my 10k steps walk oh, so stunning event and I'm gonna meet um, another fragrance reviewer let me show you guys so I'm getting on the train and there's our London train and my train is coming in uh, London train I'm at Covent Garden now really really busy 
the fillet is packed. But anyway, I'm gonna put my phone away so <laughs> I don't want anyone to snatch this off my hand. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys again. So beautiful in here. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. The displays are stunning. Absolutely stunning. amazing person um, and you guys asked when you come to Guerlain in Comment Garden ask for Azam <laughs> he's amazing too this display are mind-blowing Close my eyes and see Only 
having the dreams, baby. So it's market day, market day. I'm here in, it's called Dalston Market. Like, I grew up here, guys. <laughs> my mom used to send me you grew here. Up in the market? Not in the market. My mom used to send me here all the time <laughs> to buy, like, meat, goat meat, <laughs> beef, shaki, all of that after school. So here we are, because this is where we get, like, Nigerian food, like, pounded yam and jollof rice ingredients and all of that. Um, let me show you. You guys can already see, actually. Huh, why can I not spin this round? Never mind. Where's the shop? I think so. Yeah. Anyway, so here we are. Why can I not spin it around? This is so weird. We're getting out of Dawson. We've got. We came here to get plantain chips. My favorite. I absolutely love plantain chips. Um, and we got some scotch bonnet and some other bits and pieces and stuff like that so now i'm off to stratford to get some to go to boots if you guys don't know boots is like uk version of sephora where you can get makeup skincare perfumes the works basically so that's where we're off to now I might visit Lush, I don't know, I'll visit a few places. Um, take out my phone when I can, if it's not too crowded. So, anyway guys, I'll see you soon. Bye. So, arrived at Stratford. It's gonna be, I don't know, it's really busy. So, let's see. Let me show you boots from a different angle. There's boots. I'm looking for oh some body wash. Yeah, hey, it's got me hooked on looking for all these body washes. Pomegranate and hibiscus. Let me smell that. Okay. It smells okay. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I'm not blown away by the scent. Um I love Tresemme by the way not the shampoo i think this is is this a shampoo yeah this is shampoo i prefer the conditioner anyway let's keep looking these ones are so cheap i know they're gonna smell awful raspberry and pomegranate granite i don't know man 75p i'm not gonna bother i just feel like they're gonna have a cheap scent to it but let's keep looking oh banana shampoo yeah probably not for my texture they finally have sheer moisture well not they finally have they've had it for a while I'm not sure a lot of people know about it but there's not a lot like look at all this section this is all they've got on sheer moisture which is uh, I don't know not that much yeah, would I recommend any of these? Yeah, I think any of them are actually really good. Um, I've used a lot of Shea Moisture on my hair, but it's not as moisturizing. This is my favorite though. Wow, someone's removed the cap on this. Favorite conditioner from Shea Moisture. I don't need any, so I'm not going to get any today. Of course, they've got Cantu. And you can also order these online. So Somebody said that Cantu stuff is actually got ingredients that are not good for you I don't know how far that's true but I've used it before but what I find is that it moisturizes but once your head dries um, off of the moisture it just gets really crinkly maybe that's just my hair but anyway I'm always talking about smelling good and that includes your mouth oh baby I found the lemon one we absolutely love whoops 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 we absolutely love these they are so good they sell them in super jug as well this is like lemon and mint mouthwash so nice yeah let's get these ones up and also if you suffer from like bad breath this is really good this works 
or like if you've had I don't know garlic <laughs> or like those kind of strong seasoned food this is really good especially you gargle with your um, gargle some on your throat and then you gargle the second time with your mouth and it works it actually really works so highly recommended everything will be linked in my description bar below if you guys wanted to check it out so yeah right so we're down with the feminine washes um this i love i personally use it i vouch for it i use it more well i use it a lot well i use it every day but time of the month this uh this will make you feel extra clean um this is the one i always always go for um they have like the new ones which i've tried all of them this i don't know about the soothing i don't think it soothes anything um the second one that i would recommend is this one it's really good but they say water is just enough to clean your stuff which is true water is enough um but if you want that extra clean 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 definitely get one of these i'm running out so i'm gonna get this one now cannot go wrong with soap and glory this i need asap i don't use anything else to wash but these exfoliating gloves when you use this and you wash your body just 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 look in, just look at the bath you'll see how much dirt this gets off your body it's amazing don't over scrub your face though with it like i use something else on my face my face is very delicate so i don't use the same thing on my body as i do on my as i, as I use on my face so those are a yes and there's other stuff from soap and glory that i love but as you can see it's empty so i think a lot of them are like have been sold um i saw ai the great oops mentioned these so i ordered it online um i've always seen it but i've just never paid attention to it but it smells really good and these as well they smell really nice but the fruity one this one it smells the best it's better than the cocoa one which smells kind of like coconut but it's not very fragrant um what else is it yeah then this is the tutti fruity body lotion also great like i said everything will be linked in my description bar below so make sure you check them out what is this i've never seen this before um perfect foaming i don't know let me smell this now this smells really good oh my goodness i have never seen this before oh i think i'm gonna get it it's meant to be relaxing oh i'm getting this for sure is there another one though Oh, I didn't know they did hand sanitizers as well. Oh gosh, I love soap and glory stuff. I always have, but I've never, I literally just get what I normally get. I don't explore. Uh, what is this zing? Let me see what zing is saying. Does zing smell good? Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's very citrusy. Ooh, zing is good. Okay, so that's it for now. This, mm, this pomegranate one, it smells really nice actually. I think I might get it. I already have the body scrub, which is this one. So maybe I'll just get it. It's only two pounds, so I'll go for it. And they're all two pounds. My goodness guys these oh, oh, nearly four. fell there ah, get this and thank me later and these when I get home I'm gonna show you everything that I purchased I might not talk through it much but I'm gonna show you everything oh gosh I'm just making a real mess of this these are so pretty aren't they but they don't really do much if I'm honest oh and these this one is amazing guys this one is amazing kind of reminds me of the one from um body shop it's called satsuma i feel like this is better and more tropical smelling because of the mango love okay i think i'm satisfied now yeah i think i'm satisfied oh. marshmallow oh my gosh oh my gosh i love that my daughter would love that 
but it's not very fragrant, so maybe not. <gasps> Papaya! Mm. Ew, 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 ew. That's a no, that's a big fat no. Okay, I think I should stop now. Okay. So I always tell you guys that I use concealer on my face, and that's literally all I use. And this is the concealer that I normally use. It's called Can't Stop, Won't Stop, and I'm in the shade Cappuccino. Yeah, this is my shade, Cappuccino. Is that the right shade? Yep. Yeah. That's the shade that I that's the shade. That's the shade that I go for. It works like a charm and it's only £8.50. So if you guys wanted to use a concealer, I feel like this is a really good, good um, cost-effective one for sure. And you guys can see they always sold out. Um, you can also get it on ASOS and I'll link everything down below. I've tried these before and nah, they don't really work for me that's the only one that works can't stop won't stop faced here never used any of their products before but i know people love Too Faced. so if you um if you wanted to get your <laughs> get your what if you wanted to try it then definitely come here we've got the saint laurent makeup here um never tried their makeup either it just when i look at the colors as you guys can see nothing here speaks to my skin color so yeah so that's why i don't don't really come here to ysl for foundation or anything like that or concealer because my shade isn't it's not here it's not here it's Dior. of course there's loads of lipsticks here for Dior. um i wanted to get my daughter a lip gloss but I don't know. I want to get a clear one for her. But I'm never able to find it. What a cute little display, eh? Really cute. We've got Chanel, of course. Chanel. And Morphe. They do one of the best eye palettes, in my opinion. And let's go back to Fenty. Before we go back to Fenty, guys, I didn't know Kylie was here. Hey, Kylie girl. How are you, babe? <laughs> Kylie is here. Wow. I do like her lipsticks though and her um, lip glosses and stuff. I think she's got the formula really, really on point. And I like the little TV thing they've got going on here. It's very, very nice. So off to um, Fenty now. Actually, more Kylie here. <laughs> I did not realize. There's more, loads of people here. Anyway, it's Rihanna, babes. Back a bit. Oh, let me show you guys the best lip gloss ever, 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 right here. This is the best lip gloss in my opinion. Okay, here we go. They have loads of options, of course. I need to try that one. It looks good. Yeah. I know these are really, really pigmented um, liquid lipsticks. But I think I have enough lipstick in my collection right now. Yeah. So I've been wanting to get the body lava right here. But they've changed the packaging to these. And I don't I don't really like it. I prefer this packaging. Yeah, this one is much better. You got all that beauty here. Mona sister. <laughs> I've heard that um Uda Beauty's foundation are like full blown coverage. Like you would be covered. I love this. Look at everyone's beautiful shade. Hello, Uda. She's so pretty. Um, so, yeah. I'm not looking for foundation, so I shan't be getting any foundation. Uh, me and foundation are not the best of friends. Um, but yeah, oh, I love this. How beautiful. Anyhow, I think I need to go and pay for what I bought and be on my way home. There's too many people. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Anyway, oh, I'm out of Stratford, guys. Now we are off to get Suya. Suya. Well, why do you always butt in? We are leaving Stratford City. 
it's so it was so mannequin there i could barely film you guys would have seen what i managed to capture but i did go to h&m i'll be carrying my h&m bag my daughter some basic tops but there was really nothing to be honest so now we're off to get suya suya is um um meat <laughs> why are you laughing why are you laughing you're so annoying we're gonna go and get meat um i'll show you guys when i'm eating it hopefully i remember because i'm starving right now but yes i'll see you guys in a bit ah uh, it's getting dark we just left the suya spot I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm not gonna end the I always say I'm gonna end the vlog here, but I need to show you guys the suya. I'll show you if it looks good. If it doesn't <laughs> look good, <laughs> I'm gonna end the vlog when I get home actually. Yeah. So this is the suya. Look at this tiny little what do you call it? Salad. It's not even salad. This is the like onion and um tomatoes. I hate tomatoes well this way anyway um so we got one lamb and let me show you guys the lamb i guess that's the all for the lamb um got one lamb and one um tozo which is kind of like beef but like really fatty part of beef um so that's how it comes and then you're supposed to oh it's still quite warm um one second guys so here it is. If you're vegetarian or vegan, please look away. <laughs> Apologies. Um, I was actually going to go vegan. Um, actually, I went vegetarian for a week and then I just couldn't do it. But anyway, this is the suya and it comes with um, what we call suya pepper, which is here. Wow. This tiny little sachet. Wow, wow, wow. Anyway, so that is um, dinner. I'm going to have that with jollof rice. So this is jollof rice. It might not look appealing, but trust me, this is really delicious. So they basically cook, well, the way Nigerians cook their jollof is they make like a stew with peppers and onions and all that. And then they mix it with um, rice and they put some tomatoes, more onion and seasoning. And it tastes amazing. Nigerian Fanta. Oh, guys, <laughs> this is the best Fanta in the world. Yes, I said it. It is the best Fanta in the whole entire world. So, um, yeah, I don't know what is going in. <laughs> it's, it's got Fanta. But this is so, so sweet. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot. I also got and wash. I got the mouthwash you guys saw um, earlier. This is the best one of this brand, especially. And of course, I got my Femme Fresh for my lady parts. Um, <laughs> my daughter is laughing. <laughs> uh, I got my bath and shower um, thingy from Soap and Glory. This smells divine. Um, <laughs> and I had to get this. It smells so good. This um, flavor. It's amazing. Can I say flavor? Sophia, is it flavor? What would um, I scent. The scent. Mm, I, mean, the flavor, scent. Flavor is still okay. I feel like flavor is like it kind of refers to something Food. that you can taste. And my daughter kept going on about getting some peanut butter. So got peanut butter. So I'm gonna try this puff puff mix. Like puff puff is like my favorite Nigerian snack. Um it looks like it will be easy so whenever i make it i will show you guys what it looks like whenever that's gonna be because i'm going on a new eating right journey let me show you guys some nigerian delicacies <laughs> this is pounded jam imagine um potatoes it's like mashed potatoes isn't it? it's like mashed potato but firmer yeah. that's what this is so it's called Inyon in um, Yoruba. I'm Yoruba. And it's Pani Jam in English. So, back to body care. I had to get the fresh blends. Um, is it apricot or apricot? Apricot. Apricot. Okay. I'm asking my English daughter. Thank you. <laughs> what did you call it, my, my love? Apricot. Can you say the rest of it? Um, apricot, mango, and rice milk. Ooh. <laughs> 
um why am i sh- no i'm meant to be showing you the body care stuff um, but these are so good by the way where's the other one ha huh. and i got fresh blends raspberry blueberry and almond milk guys this is this is something you might want to drink but don't drink it but it's so it smells like some juicy something but this this I think it's the best one like this smells like mint coconut and watermelon <laughs> just as it says on it this is amazing and you can get this in boots for 22 pounds or 2.99 even super drug but i found them cheaper on wilco's website if you are living in the uk you know wilco um my american people you will not know wilco you might do on it's Wilco International. I don't even know. I had to get my exfoliating gloves. Um, because in my last video, you guys were like, Oh, you showed us everything, but you didn't show us what you bought. That's the reason why I'm showing you guys everything that I bought. And I hope you guys enjoy this little shopping um spree that I did. Oh, croutons. My daughter loves these. Did I get the right ones? Yes, with garlic and herb. Yeah, okay. Right, so I think I'm going to close out the vlog here, guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to close it out right here. So, my lovelies, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget... <laughs> Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.